four week update for you guys. As you can see, there's a lot of growth going on. Today we are doing some transplanting into bigger containers because as you can see, these tomatoes went off. They are a little dry. I did water them yesterday, but it is, I mean, these things suck up so much water. I have been having, I've been needing to water these about every day and sometimes twice a day. So it could just be the containers, but they're guzzling up a lot of water. So there's two plants here. I'm going to separate those, put them into bigger containers. And there's four plants here. I'm going to separate three of them. And then the cardboard paper towel roll updates. So everything seems to be doing well. The only thing, so I wanted to show you, check these out, okay? They're about, they're almost in person, more of a bright yellow. I know they look green here, but take a look. And then these are the same plants as these. Look at the difference. These are much darker, the color is much richer. And I would say that these look like maybe they're burnt from the fertilizer, but they did have true leaves already. I don't know, honestly, I'm not really sure what happened, but this is just not really working out for me. There's just so much mold on these things. And I did tell you that there was some funky orange mold growing on them. And that's why I separated them. But just to let them dry out. But it's still coming back. And I was told that it's not a concern. But honestly, these things just dry out way too easily. And I just feel like there's they don't look great. These are browning, which is usual. It's about that time, but they're growing much slower. And I think they'll do much better. So the point of this is to put this right in the garden bed when it's time to put them outside. And then the cardboard will become compost eventually after it breaks down. I'm just going to tear the cardboard completely off and put them in a bigger container. I tried it, I might try it again with some other seeds, but it's just too much. It's stressful figuring out like, are these gonna live? Should I toss them? Should I keep them? But I wanna give them a shot. Check out all the parsley. It looks like parsley. We got cauliflower, kale, broccoli. Look how beautiful this red cabbage is but it did not do well germinating at all. Check out all these empty spots. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to thin some of these out, put them in the empty spots, and then that's just the cabbage we'll be having. It's okay, I think I'm gonna have a lot. So there's everything. Also, um, I'm giving up on these ones. I'm just gonna toss them. They're also getting very moldy. I don't know if you can see that growing on the sides. I don't know, it's just, I'm good. So I'm gonna toss those. I'm gonna transplant these today too to something different. The lavender is kicking real slowly here, so I have to water those. And then after I clean these all up, I plan on adding a little bit more um, potting soil on the top just to clean it up. I mean, it's getting moldy, some green, and I finally got a fan in today. So that is something I will hit on after I set it all up. The fan is something I wish I had sooner. I think it would have kept my soil from not getting so moldy or mildewy. But it's okay, I know that it happens. And once I put some fresh soil on top and I make sure to keep the moisture even and have a fan going, I think it'll look much better. And everything, I know it looks messy, it doesn't look so pretty, but this is all normal. Like These are the first leaves, they should be browning, they should be coming off. 
This is, I think, the way it's all supposed to look. And then everything else feels really strong. It's been gloomy, it's been cold out, so I haven't had time to, I haven't had really the time or the weather to let these sit out in some sunshine. And definitely not hardening off yet. I think they still have a few more weeks until they're at that point, but the fan will definitely help strengthen the stems, clear the soil a little bit, make sure no gnats rest on it. And I think after today, everything will look really pretty, clean, organized, and ready for their next phase, their next week. So let's, let's get going. These are the bigger containers I'm going to be transplanting them into. I took a box cutter and made some drainage holes. Hopefully they're big enough. And I'm recycling these containers and I'm going to be putting the flowers in here. So just some blueberry and strawberry containers. And I'm putting the flowers together because they'll be ready to be potted outside soon. So here I have potting soil. I'm not using the seed starting mix anymore, just good old potting soil. And I'm mixing a little bit of perlite in it just for good drainage and giving that a good mix. And then you'll want to put about another inch or half inch of soil on top of the seedlings once you transplant them. So I have a fan lightly blowing on the seedlings and this is something that I couldn't recommend more. Please be sure to give your soil and your seedlings some air even if it's just very light. I think that really helps with keeping the mold down and it helps strengthen the stems of your seedlings. It just really keeps the air flowing. I've noticed that it helped with soil gnats. So nothing too crazy, nothing big. I really only have one and I just switch it every few hours in the direction it's blowing. And here are the transplanted seedlings in their new homes. I think they're going to like it much better than the dry moldy paper towel rolls. And look how good these are all doing here. Marigold cucumbers, all the peppers and tomatoes that I did just a couple weeks ago. And my humble little setup, helping it all grow. They know what to do, they have a job and they do it well. Don't take it too serious and don't be too hard on yourself. I wanted to show you something really cool. If you've never grown tomato plants before, not really sure how they work. So I was taught that when you plant the tomato into the ground, you can put it pretty far up the vine. And if you can see these little fuzzies, that helps them create roots so the further down you put it it'll start growing roots and then the roots grow out look at how awesome this is these little white bulbs here those are roots those turn into roots and you can see it right there that little thing Isn't that so awesome? That's just from a matter of a day. I'm just trying to find the roots. Mm -hmm. 